We're treated to so much beauty here in the Pacific Northwest, but this destination in particular stands out. Sagebrush really is a world-class facility, offering golf, fishing, dining, and on-course accommodation. And no, this isn't a paid advertisement. I just fell in love with this place so much I felt compelled to share. It tips out at over 7,400 yards, but we were more than happy playing it at 6,600. There you go. And the first hole is one where you throw away the yardage on the card because it's uphill all the way. Good ball, Adam. Two good swings leave me with just a wedge in here, and unfortunately I thin it. But Sagebrush has the biggest greens and widest fairways in all of BC. So I have a flat stick here. Go! Go! And it's a good lag like putt job, and a good par. Since my home course put the kibosh on filming, I've busied myself getting out to all of these beautiful destinations, and be sure to subscribe to catch more like them. I pick a target here. Good. Yeah. I think it's fine. Yeah, that felt good. <laughs> and it is good. This approach, however, isn't so great. It pitches at the front of the green and more or less stays there. But all of my time on the practice green pays off with another good lag putt here, and another par. Dan clubbed me with the forward here, and he was bang on. I have just a short iron in here, but unfortunately after catching a piece of green on the left it trickles into the bunker. <laughs> and I didn't get to practice in the sand, but was fortunate enough to hit a good one here. I'll have about 8 feet for par. But I overread it a bit, Never broke. and take my first bogey of the day. This one was playing 195. I don't remember what with the slope adjust, and I didn't commit to a 6-iron and hit a pretty lousy shot. But a good bunker shot here will give us a look at salvaging par from 5 or 6 feet. And we make it. I was honestly distracted on this tee shot, staring at this gorgeous backdrop. Yeah. And this is a pick a target and hope type of shot. Nice. Good. How's that? Four feet. Really? Yeah. Let's go. And Dan's answer makes me a happy man. And I am able to knock oh. in the birdie. The six iron on the par three here comes up a bit short, so for the second I'll grab the Texas wedge and play some true Lynx golf. And it's hit well, and I'll tidy up for another par. The course guide said that the left house was the aim point here. I took aim at it and was pretty much bang on. And the second shot here is one where you just have to trust your aim point. And I'm lucky to be inside 100 here into this enormous green. This one eventually trickles all the way up to pin high at about 12 or 15 feet. And we knock in our second bird in the last three holes. Picking a target becomes a theme throughout the day here, but I like that this course was fair even with the blind shots. The ball's a bit above my feet here, and this hybrid overdraws and just like a few holes ago catches green before releasing down the hill. But that's my best pitch of the day, and it allows me to knock this in and preserve the under par score heading into nine. One more good drive, and we're smooth sailing until that. My first truly terrible shot of the day precedes my second truly terrible shot of the day. And even inside 30 yards, this is a pretty lousy wedge. I'll have about 20 or 25 feet for bogey now. It's not meant to be, and we'll go from under par to over par in just one hole. In either case, I'm not going to complain about that front nine. Every fairway, half the greens, and 13 putts just is a good day. Especially coming off the last day of the Van Open. It's just a great day heading into the back nine at Sagebrush. The tee shot on 10 here sets me up for literally the longest putt I've ever had on a golf course. I'm guessing it's around 100 feet here, and it's tracking towards the pin the entire way. Wait, wait for it. 
it ends up literally stalling on the lip before I tap in for par. That one was hit really, really solid before I hit I'd like to say my worst iron shot of the day, but if I'm honest, there's more lousy ones coming. And then a good bunker shot before not quite tidying up for par and settling for bogey. We're at the peak elevation of the golf course now, on a beautiful little par 3, the last of the day. This one was looking good, and pitch is pretty close to the hole. And I really wanted this one to drop because it's not often I go under par on the par threes. Land on the front lip of the bunker and just well, I'm going to try to land front left. That's land, the... land in where the fat part of the bunker is on the right hand side. Just look, drop it you got to have a target. I'm not saying where it's actually going to go. <laughs> I'm motivated by all that mockery. And I proceed to absolutely stripe one. And it's a shame that was in to win, because I'm sure otherwise it would have gotten there. That's another thinned wedge. And I guess I'm lucky that I still have a putter in hand for birdie here. I got aggressive with that putt because I really thought I had it. And nothing wrong with par. This is the first of several holes straight into wind. And despite hitting my driver well, they're not going far, but my god, this place is awesome. So awesome, in fact, that I'm not even put off when I hit the worst shot of the day. My swipey fade irons are really not good here. I'm lucky that one finds a greenside bunker, and I'm 100% sure this is in the whole way. But we'll have to take bogey. That's another good drive that isn't going to go all that far. And that's a six iron that I guess goes 100 yards. I was trying to catch that one clean and did, and launched it over the green. And this is a really difficult two-putt from off the green. And all things considered, I'm pretty happy to walk away with a bogey here. Finally we get to play a whole downwind here, and my next shot is my favorite of the trip. It's not often that I hit a 315 yard forward, but when I do, it's downhill downwind. I love this eagle putt here. I really thought I had a line on it, but nothing wrong with the birdie here. Back into the wind. That one went all of about 200 yards, I think. And getting all of this hybrid, it's still at the front of the green. And after almost a full day of no brain fart putts, I finally hit one here. It's left quite a bit short. And this one doesn't drop. And we'll have to take our first and only three putt of the day. The golf gods have one more test for us on 18. Another one into the wind. And I have the exact same number in as I did on the last hole. But this one fades a ton and winds up right of the green. I get it to a good spot here and would love to make this par putt to end the day, but it's not quite meant to be. And how do you wrap up a day like this? The differential is fantastic, but because we're at Sagebrush before its official opening, I can't even post it. And the stats are also pretty awesome. I don't know if I've ever hit every single fairway, and I don't care how big they are, that still feels like an accomplishment. And yeah, hit some greens, putted well, and none of that really matters, because what matters today is that we got away to one of the more spectacular golf destinations I've ever been to, and a great day with my buddy and my dad.